You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Andrew Tate, you up the bat. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos and we back like we never left. Shout out to you guys, man. Like I said, new podcast coming soon. Revamp podcast coming soon. If you're watching this, you're probably going to be a fan of it. It's tapping into the, the mind of the man and what he thinks and how he perceives life and how he think people perceive him. So it's a super dope, super dope podcast. Make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. But we back with another Andrew Tate reaction. Y'all wanted me to tap into more of his motivational stuff i like that you know what i'm saying that's right up my alley the motivation so we got you lack discipline in your life this is a motivational speech andrew tate let's go ahead and get into it fire squad what's popping let's get it the world doesn't care how you feel anyway so like the world doesn't give a shit. You're either a winner or a loser. Okay. You're either gonna you're either gonna push to succeed or you're not. We live in a world based on action. It's binary. It's yes or no. Yeah. You're either gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. Yeah. I, I, like people, don't, when I tell people this, like you don't understand. It's like I do understand. I just don't care. Exactly. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. I understand you feel sad, but me <laughs> and everyone else alive doesn't give a fuck. I say yeah. this to people. I'm depressed. I'm like, well, life's depressing. You're getting right. older. You're gonna die. You know, there's a whole bunch of people with a bunch more money than you. Welcome to the fucking real world. Life's depressing. Are you a bitch? You're going to cry about it? You're going to do something about it. Like, life is depressing. No, who told us? Tell me where it says in the human handbook that we're supposed to be happy all of the time. Right, we're not that's supposed real. to be happy. We're supposed to survive. Now, if you're a man, you can survive even if you're miserable. I say this all the time. Give me depression. You wouldn't even notice. This mm. is what pisses them off because they're like, oh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to function. I guarantee I can still drive my Lambo and fuck women. I guarantee you. Right. Try me. Because I refuse, I refuse to be such a baby that I'm going to sit there and go, well, I feel a certain way. Hold on now. Hold on now. I fuck with that part. I refuse to be a baby. That's what he said. But I've refused in my mentality. I refuse to let something defeat me. I don't care what it is. I, def I refuse to let something break me. That's always been my mentality. I don't care what it is, what I go through. It will not break me. But that's just me, though. So I kind of get what he's saying on that. Let's go. So I have to act a certain way. No. One of the number one tenets of masculinity. In fact, it's probably the primary tenet of masculinity. is acting different to how you feel. This is the primary tenet of masculinity. Do you think the men on the Titanic felt like dying? No. But they acted a certain way because they were men. The women and the children are afraid and they're going to run. I'm afraid and I'm going to stay here because mm. I'm a man. As a man, you have to control your emotions. So I don't give a shit if you're depressed. You're, there's no excuse to not be an adult and make sensible decisions based on discipline alone. I'm too depressed to train. No, you lack discipline. Because I've been, I've felt miserable. Every single person has. I didn't miss a gym session ever. Ooh. So I don't believe in that crap. I don't believe in it. But as a man, you can build your character from the ground up. You can decide, do I want to be a hard ass UFC fighter? Do I want to be a rock star? Just like a video game, you can build your character. Who do I want to be? And you can build it from the ground up. I agree. And this is what's so amazing is that every single man is born with stability, but most of them are too fucking lazy to do it. Exactly. They, they sit there and go, you know what, Tate, man, you know, you, you're fighting, you're driving a Lambo and blah, blah, blah. It's like, why didn't you fight? Oh, I never had the time. Shut up. You could have fought. You could have been better than me. You obviously, I'll, I'll, I'm being nice when I say this. Of course, you didn't stand a chance in hell, but I'll say it anyway. You <laughs> might have beaten me. Never. You know, you might, you might have beaten me, but you didn't even train. You didn't even try. Mm. You're, like, you're going to sit there with your video game and level up your character, but you won't level up your real life self. And this is the truth. And people sit there and go, yeah, but it's hard. You wouldn't want it if it wasn't hard. Exactly. If it wasn't hard, everyone would have it. They would exactly. have no value. If exactly. everybody had a six pack, you wouldn't want a fucking six pack. This is, the, this is the beauty of it. People don't understand that the fact it's hard is what makes it beautiful. Right, That's what exactly. makes it good. That's what right. makes you want it at all. Why is a nice body so coveted? Because people know how hard it is to have a nice body. Exactly. If we all could just shred like this, it wouldn't mean anything. Yeah. Value and scarcity are linked. Mm. They're, they're together. So you can't sit and complain about the value of things and then complain it's hard. This is, this is the truth about men. There's a whole generation of men who have been raised without being prepared for war. Mm. Because that's what life is. It's a war for resource. It's a war for females. It's a war for attention. It's a war for domination. It's war. And as a man, you have to establish yourself in a hierarchy of men. There is a global hierarchy of men. And there are men out there right now who are born with every genetic advantage. And they're seven foot two NBA players made of muscle. And that's life. And there's men out there who are five foot five and they're not. But that doesn't make a difference. You still have to find a way to fight and compete. Exactly. You have to right. do your best with what you've got. Exactly. That's it. That's the game. Either or you sit there, jerk off and cry absolutely and these men are these like i said these men are being raised and they're not prepared for war they're not prepared they're not battle ready 
This mm. is what's happened to whole generation of men. They're literally simply not battle ready. They think life is supposed to be easy. They right. think their end goal is that they're supposed to be happy. They right. don't realize that life, life is a fight. Exactly. That's what it is. It's yep. one big battle as a man. And that's how you have to prepare yourself. You can't be sitting there going, why am I not happy? I, I, I say this all the time. People say to me, oh, but Tate, when I was talking about the depression thing, he said, oh, but you're happy. I said, I would never describe myself as happy. I'm not unhappy. I'm not happy. The idea of happy, it's not a spectrum that enters my mind. I'm a disciplined individual mm, right. who does what he knows is right, right to live the life he wants to live. Right. Happy and sad is completely separate to right. how I, my life is organized. Like, I don't see this. See, this is what he's saying. He's saying he's not letting him be, in, be happy, sad, or whatever emotion that he's feeling dictate how he moves when he's talking about what he wants out of life. Okay, I'm not feeling good, or uh, I'm uh, I'm not up to par today. I'm still going to go work out. I'm still going to go train. I don't care about that. I'm not feeling too good, but that's what greatness is, and that's what you got to do. You got to push past how you feeling to get to where. That's what discipline is about. Doing stuff when you don't feel like doing it, but it's the right thing to do, so you do it anyway. That's what discipline is. Let's go. This idea of people constantly being told you need to be happy all the time, no matter what. As soon as you feel a little bit sad, pop this pill. Right. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. And America's the worst of this. Everyone over there is taking something. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we wonder why we're shooting each other. It's like the whole people, everyone's lost their minds. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah, it's Suicide is for cowards. And the point I was making is that a lot of these people have killed themselves. You have children. I don't yeah. care how sad you are. I don't care how sad you are. You have kids. Yeah. And let's, let's, let's wait. For, let's, let's forget the kids thing for a second. When you come along and say to me, oh, Tate, I'm depressed. Uh, I don't want to live anymore, whatever. Do you have any idea how disrespectful that is to your parents? Damn. Think of the shit your parents went through to get your ass alive, to feed you, the doctor's appointments, taking your ass to school, waking up, feeding you, the money they had to make, all that shit they went through. So 20 years later, you can say you're sad and jump off a fucking bridge? Do you have yeah. any respect for your elders and your ancestors? Mm. These are people born without basic respect. I don't, they should have too much respect for their last name and their parents to walk around like a moping sack of shit. You have, yep. you have too much respect for the people who worked hard to bring you to life mm. to be acting that way. Childish. These are childish individuals. When I see some next fucking idiot jumped off a bridge, killed himself, whatever, whatever, I don't sit there and go, oh, it must have been so hard for him. Oh, Mr. Millionaire Rockstar killed himself, must be so hard for him. I just think he's a coward. Because I think he's a yep. coward. Wow. He's a That's yep. it. <laughs> This is another thing where it comes back to motivation and discipline. I want, I want to really stress the difference between those two things. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was Damn. motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. Right, Just like yeah. you're talking about your ultra marathon. You don't feel like going through that shit on a Wednesday morning when you wake up, but you have to do it because you're disciplined. You're either a disciplined individual or you are not a disciplined individual. Right. To sit there and say, and I'm gonna tell you the truth, Rand. A shit spiral, what does that mean? You go on Pornhub, or you start clicking on cat videos on YouTube. Like, if you really wanted money, you would you would not do that. So you don't really want it. Mm. There's, there's, there's a difference between want and want. Fuck it. And I say this all the time. Hold on, man, hold on, man, hold on. Cause he started to talk about that shit. He talking about people that saying that they want stuff and then don't do nothing to change their actions to actually go towards it and spearhead it. You can't tell me you want something, then I look at your your life and what you've been doing and how you live in your life and it's completely the opposite of what you're saying you want oh yeah i want to you know i want to be in shape but uh you know i'm drinking beers i don't really work out like that i don't watch what i eat you just run in your mouth you can't say you want show me some action that's when i know you really want it when you show me some action behind what you're talking about then i know you for real until then it's just lip service pause all the time people say to me i want to be rich and i say okay well I want to be able to ice skate, but I don't want to be able to ice skate enough to go learn how to ice skate because I can't be bothered. I, I mean, surely if I could click my fingers and be a figure skater, I'd, I'd click my fingers. Who wouldn't? Well, I don't want to actually go train because it's, it's, I, don't, I don't want it enough. And this is the exact point with money. Everyone wants money put on their lap. If you truly wanted money, you wouldn't be able to sleep until you fucking had it. Yeah. And this is the point. So you're saying you go down a shit spiral, then, then you're not cut out to be rich, my friend. Get a job in Starbucks and piss off. Some people, because when I had nothing, I couldn't be distracted. Right. You couldn't distract me from what I wanted. That's who I am. If I want something, I'm going to get it. Exactly. So I, I don't know what more you want me to say. I, I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm going to do it. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might mm. get a brain hemorrhage. You might get hit by a bus. You might get assassinated. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control over 
is your state of mind. Yeah. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide right. if you're a happy person. You right. decide if you're a uh, depressed person. These are things that in real time you can affect in your brain. Yeah. This is all you can control. All yeah. If you yeah. can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind. And life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good, you might land dog shit, nobody knows. Yeah. So if you're gonna be that kind of person, then you're at, like you, like you said it perfectly, you're, you have no will, then you're just at the whims of the earth. Who knows? You're gonna watch something on TV and they're gonna tell you something and you're gonna believe it, you're gonna march and hold the sign and blah, blah. You're gonna be, a, you're gonna be an idiot. Yeah. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money and actually try your very, very best right. and actually stay dedicated to that task. If you can't do that. All right, that was Andrew Tate, A hey, man. His mo when he get into this bag and start talking about that motivation shit, talking about saying you want something, you ain't put no action behind it. Talking about the only thing you can control is your state of mind. You can't even control your health. When he get into that bag, he start talking about, yo, it's not motivation. I'm disciplined. And that you got the, people don't understand how much power you have to make a choice. Think about it. Life ain't nothing but choices anyway. You have the power over the choices that you make. Do you know how powerful that is? Think about it. You can either choose to stay in the bed or you can choose to get up and go work out. Think about how drastically different those two choices are and the, and the drastic outcomes that come from either or. If you stay in the bed, you ain't no progress gonna happen from you trying to, let's just say, build a better physique or even have a healthier lifestyle. But if you get up and make that choice to get up and go work out, Look at all the benefits you get from working out and, and training and stuff like that. Look at the pro progress you make. Like people really don't understand how much power they have in their choices and how every small little choice can change your future drastically. That's why I'm always so concerned about the choices that we make. Cause you, one choice at a time, if you look at it like that, then it'll become way more easier for you. Don't just look at, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do. When it's time to do it, just make the choice. Are you gonna do it or not, yes or no? I gotta, am I gonna eat that or am I gonna eat this? Uh, choose the right thing. I like that. I like that and I see why y'all wanted me to check into his, uh, his motivational stuff. Send me clips, send me links on YouTube. Send me uh, clips of his, his motivational work. Send it to my Instagram. Be on the lookout for that podcast, man. Till next time, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you when you know it. Hey.